Generals, gentlemen. We are now in game for game number two between uh, Raiden's nipples as our <laughs> majestic blue team. Never gets old, does it? Yeah, against our red team, um, Chicks Dig ELO. Yeah, we didn't actually read out the plays during the load screen, so a bit of a blunder on our end. So let's quickly rush through that now. We do have Sneaky Devil as our Zack. We have Enigma as the Shivana, Meowth as the Janna once again, Raiden as the Vayne like again once again, Quirius as the Morgana in the mid lane, and that is it for Raiden's nipples. Yeah, they're just going to be positioning around that red buff and blue buff at the moment. On the other team, uh, we do have Icons on the Fiddlesticks, Noob-like God as our Lucian, uh, Rigid as the Jax. Uh, uh, Jay, we'll just call him Loki, because this is a ridiculous name as our Ramus, and me can as our mid lane Gregus. Mm, so... Pretty, pretty intense game. Yeah, the stakes are yeah. high. Stakes are very high indeed. This is the grand final. If you're just joining us, we are the Generals Gentlemen. I am Archon Hawk. And I am Oni's Machine, and I don't actually know if there is any prizes. I think there may be like a tiny amount of Yeah, items, I'm not but... sure exactly how it works. Yeah, a bit of a smaller comp. But in the end of the day, we're not really here for prizes. We're just here for the glory and for the fun of a local tournament. It's always nice being involved with the local community. It is indeed. Uh, so no teams looking for anything really, really special or any invades for the moment. Mouth and Chris just stepping off to the side, probably looking for uh, anything they can. Mouth being, yeah, a little bit surprising. He's he's actually up there, and they're looking for Rigged. Rigged does scout them out. How about we to get a ward down from Ooh, Mouth? Quirius actually getting the tormented soil, so doesn't have the snare. The dark binding wouldn't be able to catch someone if they went for a bit of an invade. Yeah, indeed. So a bit of an interesting pick up there this quickly into the game, but. Don't think we'll see anything coming out. Uh, we'll have Sneaky Devil starting on his red buff. Loki starting on the blue. Yeah, you really do want Tormented Soil for the laning phase, but like a lot of times you just you just won't pick an ability. Like you, I, I tend to do that, yeah. Yeah, you, you leave it like no, nothing un until you make sure that there is no invade or early engagement, and then you get Tormented Soil when you go back into lane, because if there was an engagement, you didn't have the Stark Binding. That could have been a bit messy. Yeah, that AOA up the top there is absolutely ripping through Rigged quite hard. He's trying to uh, farm up as well as he can. Icon's going to get some wards down in that bottom lane. Yeah, so Curious's Morgana is a pretty strong farmer, you know, with the Tormented Soil and pretty easy farmer. You don't exactly have to be very extended. You can farm pretty safely from a distance there. That's, that's nice work from Raiden. He's using the Tumble just to dodge that, um, the light attack there, the piercing light from Lucian. Yeah, Rigid is not going to have a good time in this top line. That AoE damage from Enigma is absolutely bursting him down. As well as the fact when the Flame Breath comes up, he's going to take a lot of damage just to get in and grab a minion. <laughs> yeah, and, and she doesn't have... Well, actually, oh, Raiden getting damn. creepy low, but the barrier pops just in time to save her from Noob like God, so... Directed camera not flicking us over there, but yeah, very, very close. Uh, engage there, Raiden almost getting bursted down. Noob like God having a fair bit of damage this early on in the game, and Raiden backing getting interrupted there. They really should just back from a safe distance because they're hanging around and they're not getting CS in the meantime. If they're going to they're going to recall, you should recall fast because you're just not really doing anything. Yeah, they're going to lose a fair few CS here and that's really, really important early game CS and early game levels. It's going to mean that Noob Black God and Icons can have a really, really fun time uh, in this bottom lane. Bit of CS getting denied on the turret there. Yeah, it's pretty good harassment. As you said, look, that AoE from Enigma is just nuts. She does have the burnout there on the floor, giving her ah, that extra flame you. damage. And of course, that flame strike for some more harassment. And by flame strike, I do mean flame breath. Looks like Loki's coming in to oh. the bottom of the for a kill into Curious. Here we go. A spell shield will actually save her from that stun, but will there be a taunt? There was, but Loki used it when the spell shield was still there. Bit of an interesting choice, to be honest. I mean, um, she did manage to dark binding the uh, in the engage from the power ball and then spell shield the taunt. That spell shield is just so strong against the taunt. Poor Loki is like, ah, I just wouldn't taunt you. Yeah, it's not fair because it comes up. It says spell interrupted because the spell shield. Yeah, but actually, Stinky Devil going for a gank here. I think he might have been sighted by the minions as well as that uh, ward in the brush. Yep, ward right in the spot there, and so it may have been a good idea for the bottom lane of um of blue team to actually get that sweeping lens to just make sure there you know wasn't a ward there and take it out but they didn't so that's going to be not a successful gank there but another gank here from Cruz. does he have a spell shield 
he doesn't get the taunt and a lot of damage that has to burn the flash. Curious popping that spell shield way too late. Yeah, actually not a bad uh, engage there because she did. Uh, yeah, but she could have got taunted, so it's a, it's a bit dangerous. She did manage to dark bindings through the power ball, which seems to be the good choice uh, to keep it off getting the knock up. So, well, she did yeah. get taunted. Oh, she did get yeah, taunted. Did. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I didn't see it. That's so, what I mean. Yeah. She didn't yeah. use the spell shield in time, but actually making it a bit of a gank here. Stinky Devil moving in didn't land the light binding though. It's pretty crucial landing that snare for the gank. Yeah, it is indeed. Loki is off to the side, but being quite low on health, just gonna farm up the rates. Yeah, I mean, look at the CS here. 29 CS for our Lucian, Noob like God, and only 16 for our Vein Rigged. Again, just more pressure from that burnout. Yeah, Raiden being put quite far behind from that early game damage that happened. Yeah, I actually had no idea that Shivana would, would rip apart a Jax this hard. Yeah, going quite well. A 26 CS, 231. So he's farm Rigged is farming quite well, given the circumstances. Yeah, that's true. I mean, using his leap a lot of times to sort of jump in, get a minion, and walk out really quite fast indeed. And uh, as someone in the stream pointed out earlier, actually Raiden getting caught by that um, the piercing light. So it's it's pretty powerful harassing because it's a pretty sh short wind-up time and it's pretty long range. Yeah, Van's taking a lot of damage. I really like this Lucian... Uh, Lucian... Fiddles pick, it's, it's gonna stop uh, what turned into a massive late game carry uh, in Raiden, so he's gonna, gonna have a lot of trouble uh, in that bottom lane. Yeah, we do see Icons actually picking up the new item, Spell Thief's Edge. It gives him um, gold every time he attacks a champion, so it's really encouraging. I think it's auto attacks, I think it's not yeah, spells. I think it is auto attacks. So it, it's really encouraging him to just be aggressive in the lane because when, when he attacks a champion, he gets gold from it. And so when you run an aggressive lane, it gives you more farm, but Enigma may get caught here. The power will hit the minion, but that will be a taunt here. Jax getting some Dragon's Descent actually going in onto Rigged here. That may be a double kill. The red team are running for them life here. Rigged should be fine for the meantime. Flames Breath not having the damage they need. Loki now has to burn the flash. Oh, Enigma chasing after him with a flash of his own takes two tower shots, but actually that damage over time from the Dragon's Descent got the kill in the end. Yeah, I think it did pop the Ignite there in the top lane, but that is a gank on Ron for Loki. Yeah, that fear from Icons actually made Raid miss that uh, piercing light from Lucian. Yeah, so Enigma and Rigard just looking for each other. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw an engage at the top there from either player. They're definitely looking for something. Oh, gotta be careful though. Enigma so close to the tower and Rigard with the counter strike full of stun could go pretty sour quite soon indeed. Yeah, indeed. So being both very, very low, I'd say, yeah, Loki definitely going up to the gank. Uh, Enigma should back off. Yeah, Loki moving in, and he just has so much skanking potential. Ramus has the stun and the fear, but actually, speaking of fear, in the bottom lane, that life drain on top of the fear will do a fair bit of harassment there to Raiden. And now here we go. There is the gank from Loki. That's going to be a stun and the taunt. Easy pick up there for Enigma, unless he manages to get Rigged in time. Enigma is walking out of this, though. No mana there for Rigged. He can't get the leap and the empowered strike. No counters, no stun at all there for Rigged. That's really, really unfortunate. I thought they were going to see an easy gank kill uh, there from Loki, but... Oh, uh, Sneaky Devil off to the side of us, next thing shining oh, in. Howling Gale hit both of them, actually lands on Icons, nice work. Meow picking up that one, but now let's bounce. We'll do a fair damage onto New Black God and the Exhaust slowing him down. Barrier being popped, Zephyr is slowing New Black God down even further. They may get killed by the Red Bull. Sneaky Devil is diving this though, trying to do some damage in return. Not getting the kill, has to flash. That's right, oh, man. he does have the... Uh, Bloblet's available, but the tower is going to start taking them down one by one. He's going to have to get out of this really, really fast. He's going to take it very, very low. He does a Lessing Sneaky Devil. Just manages to walk away from that one. There's a fantastic tower dive from Sneaky Devil. Where he says there may have to burn the spell shield. Otherwise, Meekin may have killed him with a Bowel Toss. So that uh, gank went, well, dive went a little bit sour when he missed it. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was really, really important. So that, that just came so close. Uh, pretty incredible, that, but managing to get a double kill in that bottom lane. It's a really fantastic gank from Sneaky Devil. I think the uh, the cyclone combined with that elastic slingshot really allows Sneaky Devil to land that elastic slingshot, which is just so important uh, into the let's bounce to get the uh, the kind of the double knock up extra CC. Yeah, it was very nice because that Howling Gale it really just set oh, him up yeah. for the elastic slingshot there. But now Rigid back in the lane here does have that Counter Strike, but Enigma though with the Sun Chain Vest is going to have pretty good survivability here. Yeah, definitely, I think so. We're going to be farming up as much as possible. We're doing a fair bit of damage to uh, uh, Enigma here. Getting that hand strike going, looking for the... Pretty slow engagement, but here comes Loki powerballing in with the Torn as well. May have to flash over the wall. If not, Dragon's Descent may take it out before the... There we go, there is the... Oh, but actually, Mikan is there waiting with the barrel. Can he kill them, though? One more body slam, auto-attack 
following that up for the kill. Excellent right there from Mikan. You would not want to be Enigma right now, being very, very sad about that. Ra Raiden is getting life drained here. It's such just good support. I mean, that yeah. easy harassment they have, and once he gets more damage, he's going to do a lot more. Noob Light God has great harassment, especially when he follows up that piercing light. Oh, so there's a Crow Storm onto the team. Can he get the fear? Yes, Meow's getting fear down, condemning him away. Doesn't actually have him burnt the monsoon just yet. Raiden pretty low though. Ardent Blaze not quite finishing Raiden off. Yeah, not quite enough, but it's going to take them quite low and it's going to be really hard for them to engage off this where as a noob like God and Icons can get a lot of health back, but at the same time, gank in potential from a Sneaky Devil. He's moving in here. Icon unfortunately didn't get the Crow Storm that he was looking for. Sneaky Devil is waiting there. Raiden's getting pretty low. He's taking too long to get this gank here, having to pop the Eye of the Storm here. There we go. There's the Elastic Slingshot onto the team. We'll see the Let's Bounce. There we go. New Black God's getting blown apart, fearing though. We'll slow him down. New Black God getting hit by the Howling Gale. Raiden may get taken out here, popping the barrier. Exhausted though, he's going to have less attacks. Icons is out of mana. He's going to be a dead fiddles now. Monsoon knocking Meekin back. Icons maybe get out of this. Yeah, really, really nice Monsoon there from Meowth. Bit of a disengage. Did not want that Meekin to get in there and do any damage. Maybe even catch up to Raiden. Yeah, that was just a nice play there indeed. But unfortunately. Um, I don't think they engaged that as early as they could because I'm pretty sure in that engagement like Raiden didn't have Eye of the Storm So she didn't have the extra damage. Okay, that might have been it. Yeah, she didn't uh, really do as much as she could have done Noobs like God. Yeah, with that barrier I almost actually made him survive the Because as you, as you saw, you know how Meow had to pop the I shield did, like yeah. under tower yeah. So then by the time that Zack went in with the elastic slingshot it already worn off and and It wasn't like, available. It's like 50 AD. It's level 3 and now it's giving her 35 AD Which you know in the lane phase is a pretty big deal. Yeah, it would be absolutely major uh, looks like Regan's going to be farming up in that top lane. He's only 10 CS behind the moment. Actually, going that build toward a Cutlass. Uh, but even an interesting pick up on the Jax. Yeah, Enigma having a lot of power here. But actually, Regan's still not doing too bad for himself. He does have the Giant's Belt there, no doubt, getting the Sunfire Cape. Yeah, I would not be surprised to see that. And Enigma will have a great time Ooh. against Regan. The Dragon's Descent goes in. That may be a kill for Regan. Tower diving, no problems at all. Burning the Ignite, having to flash for it. But another kill there for Enigma. Just but so much damage. Here comes Loki. did burn the Power Ball. So no farm stun just yet. But actually, the tower went down. I think Loki was really relying on that tower being there. Didn't get there in time. And now, may even get taken out himself. Level 10 against a 7. What a machine there, Enigma just having so much damage. Yeah, powerballing, attempting to force off Enigma, but Enigma will secure that first tower, first tower of the game. Absolutely fantastic work. Uh, Raiden's nipples are balling out of control in this game. They do have a 5k, uh, sorry, a 4k, 3k. 3.5k gold lead, somewhere around that for the moment. Doing a fantastic job. Yeah, and there finally is the Sunfire Cape for Shivana. She's going to have a lot easier time in this lane. Icons now has his Crow Storm. So there may be another nice engage here, but I mean, that being said, Meow will have a monsoon in about 10 seconds, and that's pretty much going to negate that if she lands it correctly. Yeah, I think it will indeed. Uh, Sneaky Devil is standing right on top of a ward, which ward. they do know about. That's a really, really nice ward. Sneaky Devil has been coming through that tri-bush area a lot. Uh, the Elastic Shinto is coming in. No, oh. they know it's coming. New Black God going to dash out of that. No issues. The fear will slow him down, popping the culling for the retreat. They're ready going quite in with that ultimate for the extra movement speed. I'm getting pretty low, but so is the rest of the blue team condemned into the wall and exhaust. Sneaky Devil being taunted under tower. That's going to be a dead Zack there. Monsoon trying to save him. Not enough though. Now actually in a bit of trouble here. Having to Howl and Gale defensively. Enigma diving icons under the tower here though. Loki charging up the power ball. Raiden wants to take the shot but will indeed taunt followed by the burst there from Noob Black God. They'll pick up a kill onto Raiden. Enigma now moving in. May want to finish off Noob Black God here out of mana but the tower is still looking pretty strong. That was a really, really long extended engagement. Absolutely crazy. Raiden, I'm surprised she actually decided to stay around for that extra shot. She could have tumbled out of oh, that. nice! Flashing the Dark Binding and the Soul Shackles. Tower went down though. Bit of a blow there and now Karus is out of burst here. Rigid has the sustain. Look at the damage here. Spell shoot won't be enough against the Jax but maybe would be enough. Minions make it the kill here. Rigid oh, gets Riggit taken out. Oh, does get slain by the Minions. That's really fantastic work from Quirius uh, during that engagement. That spell shield just kept him alive long enough to secure the kill with that uh, tournamented soil. Yeah, that was quite a nice play. I'm surprised Dark Binding came back on cooldown. I thought it was a longer cooldown than that. Yeah, no, obviously not. 7.7 7 7. seconds. 7.7 7 seconds. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so Raiden is now back in lane in that bottom after an absolutely fantastically crazy engage. Um, I really don't think it went the way of... Um, sorry, of... What is it? Chick Stig uh, ELO. ELO. Haven't actually said it for a while. It didn't really go their way considering they already had a ward Ooh. in that brush. 
They're going for the dragon, but Icons has his Crow Storm. He may get this now. Meowth moving in. Doesn't have the Monsoon though, but that will be the dragon for Raiden's nipples. Yeah, Raiden's nipples securing that dragon. Absolutely fantastic. Loki has been scouted off to the side by Meowth. So that's a really nice pick up there. Just extending that gold lead out just a little bit more. Three kill lead to them as well. They are doing quite well on this laning phase. In case you aren't aware, Dragon was actually sort of nerfed a little bit. It gives you less gold in the earlier levels, but then actually gives you more gold in the late game. So getting the dragon isn't as much of a deal in the early game as it was previously, but still nonetheless very important to pick up. Yeah, making it a little bit more important in that bottom lane. There's a lot of uh -oh. uh, Raiden's nipples coming in now. Loki has been powerballing. May actually land the tort here onto Raiden. Yeah, looks like he will having to burn the flash under the tower. Raiden gets away. Definitely worth that flash as well. The powerball would have hit. The taunt would have hit. He would have been in some serious, serious trouble. But Sneaky Devil will be pushing down that mid lane. Meowth now getting her monsoon back up in time, but still Loki, New Black God, and Icons are sticking around. Bit of engagement here. Rigid getting caught by that Dark Binding under the Torment Soul for a fair bit of damage there. Mekin uh, having to do a fair bit of damage with his Baratros. Sneaky Devil getting the spell shield for a little bit more health, but not exactly in time. Rigid avoided that Elastic Slingshot quite well. Oh, so we be engaged here. Yeah, Loki getting the stun. Will it be a taunt as well? Not quite. Dark Binding actually missed, but a four man tower push in the mid lane. And actually, Rigid will get taken out here, I would say, by Enigma. That Sunfire Cape and even the Vamp Scepter, all kinds of damage. But Loki moving in with the Power Ball will get the stun. And the Enigma may get caught here. Doesn't have Flash, but it's actually pretty fast. Should be able to walk away from that. Yeah, just managing to disengage, which is nice. Uh, the. So the ledge bounds had to be popped defensively there by Sneaky Devil, so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some pushing coming out. Mikan may actually get oh, caught here. That was oh. a nice body slam out of the way of the Howling Gale. There goes the mid turret here for Chicks Dig ELOs. ELO. Yeah, ELO. Yeah, just being a bit out of position here for Ch uh, yeah for Chicks Dig ELO. Enigma is getting engaged upon now, taking a bit of damage but backing off. Yeah, nice stun under the tower. So looking at the CS. We do see New Black God here, 112 against 85 of Raiden. So, look, they're, they're better in the CS department, but I think the the kill lead, um, the dragon, also the towers as well, is basically what's putting them ahead. Yeah, and we have to remember that uh, New Black God has been ganked like several times. He has got those two deaths, which are from Sneaky Devils. Absolutely amazing ganks. And Raiden is... Trying to defend this tower. Sneaky Devil oh, off to the side, but there's a lot of wards out from the here other Here we team. go. Elastic Slingshot doesn't actually connect because of that dash, though. Sneaky Devil getting focused here. Mig Hunt is moving in for the gank as well. Icons does have the Crow Storm. Will he pop it or will he wait for the perfect moment to strike? Raiden popping her ultimate, though. Final hour. A huge buff, but used in vain. Yeah, Meowth is moving in. They are in the area. We'll have to see how this team clock goes. Icons does, of course, have the Crow Storm available. We'll have to see Mikan maybe looking for a explosive cask here. Oh, well, Loki didn't quite get the power ball he wanted for an engagement. Raiden is pretty low, and so is Sneaky Devil. This could go quite messy here. Loki has some great dives, especially with the explosive cask of Mikan, and is, of course, available for use. Tower's pretty low as well. Curious backing away from that mid tower. And so here we go, Loki's moving in, will actually catch Raiden, will he? No, he goes to Nick Devon, Monsoon knocking him back, and the Tort under tower, that's going to be a dead Zack, but that's Flash, and that will be a kill there, but his Blombots still are there, can he finish him off? That culling will rip through them, in no problems at all. Culling destroying it, and that means the bottom tower will be secured. Now Chris, looking for the Dark Binding, not managing to land it on two, um, sorry, on two Loki there. Yeah, Enigma not quite being there in the team fight, so I think they kind of need to rely on her a little bit more because she's kind of the most strong, the strongest champion in the game, I think, at the moment. Yeah, she's extremely important, extremely tanky. She's done a good job of pushing down that top lane as well, but it's really nice to see um, Chicks Digger ELO securing that bottom turret now. Turrets are now even rigged. You are not having a fun time against no. that Shivana. And when I say strongest champion in the game, I mean in this game, not in League of Legends as a whole, but actually, here comes Loki. Moving in, that's going to be a nice gank there, combined with the stun of Rigid, having to drag his descent, he wants to kill, didn't use it defensively over the wall, and that may be the uh, end here of Enigma, being a little bit greedy, may actually get the kill though, before getting taken out, he does, he gets the kill, and maybe even flash out of this, there goes the explosive cast, burning the ult though, not exactly a bad trade there. Surprise that Rigid actually decided to stay around, not exactly, not the best move, could have, took a lot of damage down, with Mekan moving in, the explosive cast could have secured the kill anyway, Icon's off to the side, looking for that crow. Oh, here we go. We'll get scouted out by the fear. Dark Binding will slow him down. No 
Crow Storm just yet. He really wants to save it for okay. the perfect moment, but actually, Kuro's having to burn the flash. Lucian is actually really great. He's so mobile, has a lot of burst. You know, combining his piercing light with his passive, that makes his next a attack after a ability like a double shot. Yeah, the double shot's one. So it's actually pretty powerful, and he does a lot of burst quickly whilst having the dash, and able to get him in a good position. Yeah, he's a really, really powerful ADC. He has picked up that Bloodthirst, and now getting a fair bit of damage. Uh, Grace has finished off that Re uh, Revenant's Death Cap, as well as grabbing the Chalice of Harmony, having quite a nice amount of mana region. Needlessly large rod onto Curious. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that go into a Zonia's Hourglass. That's such a good item for Morgana because you can oh, really, really is. you can go ham on your team, pop the Soul Shackle, and then the Zonia's through it, and then basically they can't focus you until the Zonia's times out, which is basically as long as it takes to um, get the Soul Shackle stack. Icons though, oh, actually getting scattered by the wall, condemned into the wall here. New Black God jumping onto Raiden. Look at the burst, but there goes that jump there from Sneaky Devil. Didn't quite connect though. The upgraded Elastic Shot is absolutely nuts. Loki's still looking for that power ball, though. Raiden jumping out of that. That's a nice Howling Gale. Locking Loki back. Not going to be a stun taunt combo there. These Howling Gales here from Meowth are great. They're knocking the champions back so many times. Oh, they're incredibly solid. Uh, she's doing a fantastic job of keeping Raiden alive. Raiden, ew, you can't really trade with Noob Black God at the moment. He has such really quick DPS. Oh, here we go. Look at that spell shoot, though. Will tank the shot from that stun. So nice timing there. Yeah, really, really fantastic job from Korea saving uh, Nygma there. Rickard looking for a race. Nygma's like, yeah, I could probably take a few of them. Gonna grab them off uh, your hands. He's running into Loki here. Meanwhile, they may see a Crow Storm here in the brush. There we go, the fear. Meow's gonna get taken out here pretty damn fast. Elastic Slingshot into the fray, but the tower is nearby. Lucian on the chasing Lord Damage. Raiden takes out the tower. The Culling may take them down. Raiden gets taken out by the last shot. The Devil will be next here. That's gonna be a triple kill here. That will be a triple kill onto the Lucian of Noob Light God. Wow, I'm surprised that Raiden decides to stay around and try and take out that tower. The Culling absolutely ripped through him and he had no way to get away from it. Yeah, and that's gonna be a dragon here. So actually, Chicks Dig ELO coming back. They're not quite ahead in gold yet, but they will be once they get that dragon. Yeah. Moon Black God out of mana does have. Oh, no, does. Well, not back away. I was going to say, that is actually Gragas with the Chalice, giving him that mana. So the gold lead finally falling in the favour of Chicks Dig ELO. They've played a fantastic game and are really, really pulling this back. That was a great engage in the bottom lane. A new Black God is getting farmed to all hell. He has now have four kills uh, onto him. So getting nice stacks onto that Bloodthirster. Yeah, I think uh, Rain's nipples may be a little bit greedy here. There's been a couple of times where they've gone for these engagements that are a little bit wonky and a little bit greedy. And we're just seeing um, Noob Like God just getting so much gold income. He has 163 CS against the 130 of the other team's vein. Four kills. So he's on, what, 8,000 gold compared to 6.5 of vein. So he's looking pretty strong here. Picking up the Bloodthirster. Going for the Phage and Sheen. So probably going to be for that Infinity Edge. Yeah, uh, true. Yeah. Pretty forced. And yeah, yeah, a little bit of mix up there, Onish Machine. Okay, uh, I think Enigma, uh, Enigma needs to stop getting caught out as well. A lot of times she has been caught out by Rigid, by Loki, by Mikan moving in to take her out. She's four and three now. She really needs to be involved in these team fights and needs to get more fed than she is at the moment in order to be useful. Yeah, she has three deaths, so despite how crazy she is. Getting the Wits End will give her a fair bit of magic resist, which is actually quite a good item to go. But yeah, I think she's being a little bit greedy here, not really helping out the team, which if she was, she would definitely make the team fight go in their favor. Yeah, I think so, Sneaky Devil. Forcing off Loki there, saving Curious from any uh, engage. Can... Oh, Crow Storm going in, but it's going to completely flop. That was a pretty hard flop, I guess. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not Whoa, sure what's actually, going on there. Well, Rigid absolutely out ga engaging Enigma hardcore. How did um, that happen? Well, he finished his Blade of the Ruined King, so I would say he would have popped that, and the amount of DPS he could get down was absolutely crazy. Loki getting caught out now. Oh, Howling Gale and the Dark Binding onto the Clement Sword. That's a lot of damage over time. Me kind of actually popping that explosive cast for a disengage. Yeah, pretty interesting choice, but I guess it gives gives them a knock away in time, so not getting a flash after. I think they were expecting maybe a flash after Loki. Um, but yeah, Enigma getting caught out very hardcore. I can't actually engage that Rickard anymore, so I yeah, not exactly sure why she decided to uh, stick around there. Bit of an issue there for now, Chickstick ELO, because that's a pretty long cooldown on Crow Storm. It's 135 seconds with 80 seconds left, so they can't really engage for a while. Curious though, almost getting caught has to flash 
and Spill shoot out of that though. Yeah, gotta be very, very careful. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Chickstick ELO starting to push down this mid lane tower, trying to get a bit of damage uh, onto it. We do have. So sneaky, uh, what well, a sneaky devil moving off to the side as well. Both teams just backing off, gonna buy a few items, farm up a little bit. Yeah, but I would like to see uh, Raiden's nipples sort of group up and push. They haven't really been doing that so far. They've sort of just been extended lane phase, farming in their solo lanes pretty hard, and it's not really working for them because we are seeing the CS lead pretty much going towards. Um, Chicks dig ELO. I mean, there's, there's a little bit of a difference here and there. I mean, when you, when you look at Shivana and Jax and Morgana and um, Gragas, but I think mainly the, the, the CS difference of the two ADCs, New Black God and the Vayne, it basically is just evening it out too much. Yeah, New Black God is going to be, be so powerful in this mid game. We'll have to see how it goes. Looking for an engage here in this mid lane, Mikan probably looking for an explosive cast. Loki is going to start powerballing. Going in here, but the spell shield can really just turn apart that engage. It's actually a pretty strong counter pick, but actually he will get the taunt onto Kuru. He's still time out. He's gonna get bursted down. Look at that. Explosive cast picking up. That will not picking up, but securing the kill in the end. Yeah, really, really misjudging that spell shield. I don't think I saw it come out during that fight at all. Oh, uh, it's yeah, too early. Yeah, too early. Oh, that was, must have been, yeah, yeah. Um, doing it preemptively. So Loki managed to get the taunt now. Raiden doing a bit of damage, but managed to get caught out by Noob like God. No, back That's off a there. huge blow without Morgana. They lose so much of their team fight potential. They may even just lose this turret. Whoa. Yeah, oh, oh, but we do see Sneak of Devil moving into the side. With the Elastic Slingshot, dragging the center as well. Monsoon knocking them back. Raiden's going to be fine in the back lines. And that is a Crow Storm here, burning through Enigma. We didn't quite hit the rest of the team. Rigid does Ooh, get taken does out. Does get taken out by Enigma just. Yeah, the damage over time that she has is quite nice. That's the second time she's got a kill like that. But yeah. actually, it was a pretty good engage considering it was a 4v5. Yeah, the Elastic Slingshot was quite nice, but the less bounce, they were just too split up. The less bounce only hit a couple of people. Oh, oh Sneaky Devil trying to engage again onto Icons. May get taken out. Sneaky Devil actually getting taunted, though. He's going to get turned into his bloodlets, but Raiden will get the kill onto Loki. Mikan on the chase. Raiden having to flash out of that barrel, condemn him into the wall. But look at that. Dark Binding locking New Blood God down. Soul Shackers will secure that kill in the end. Mikan gets the kill, though, despite Barrier being popped. And now Mikan will probably get taken out here, unless he can do pretty well with that body slam. Uh, I think he's going to try and do with the wall, but Elastic Slingshot should be up any second, but I think he's just going to get taken out. Yeah, Elastic Slingshot getting the shut down there for Sneaky Devil. Sneaky Devil having absolutely great engages with that Elastic Slingshot. Once you level it, the rage is just so crazy. That was a nice Howling Gale. It actually hit when he went yeah. over the wall, because Kuris actually missed the Dark Binding there. Yeah. But that's okay, because the Howling Gale got there in the end, so it looks as though... Rain's nipples are back in the gold lead, but not by a lot. They may lose this turret here, though. Yeah, it was a really good defense there from Raiden's nipples. They kept that primary middle tower alive, and that's what they really needed to do. Uh, just excellent defense in the face of having already lost uh, Curious earlier on in the game. Uh, earlier on in, sorry, that engagement. Dragon spawning in 25 seconds here. No one has ward coverage. One looks as though Enigma may place one down. She doesn't have any wards, but she does have the greater ward totem, so she can place them down for free. Yeah, there, is that one there? Okay, not on Dragon. That's a bit of a weird spot for a ward, yes. considering the Dragon is going to spawn quite soon. Wouldn't be surprised to see. Okay, uh, we do have uh, Chickstick ELO going to start positioning for that. Icon's going for a bit of a ward clear there. Enigma looking for a bit of damage onto Loki. Meanwhile, Rigid getting the red buff. Good timing there for the team fight. This Dragon could be a huge game changer here, not only for the gold itself, but for the ace, you know, giving you the ability to push a couple of towers down if you manage to get a really nice dragon fight. It's always pretty interesting, especially as we are approaching 28 minutes into the game. Not really a lot of towers and objectives have been pushed despite that time. Yeah, definitely not. This is turning into such a close game because the engagements are so close. They really do depend on who can land their CC combos, who can land uh, everything better. But we do have... Um, Raiden's nipples positioning for this Baron ready to go. We just have a pink ward coming down from Meowth. They are positioning for it now. Raiden's farming in the back lines. Maybe not the best choice. Enigma going deep into here. Icons has to land the clutch. Crowstorm here. Can he get that? That's going to be crucial. Suppose of cask as well is always pretty important. The dragon has spawned. Looks as though they may actually start this here, but Jax is pushing the mid tower. Look, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure whether they might actually back off from the dragon, but no, Enigma is starting it up. Yeah, that's probably going to be dragon for a tower here, but Rigan may even get that out of in a turret as well. Jax is good at pushing towers. Blue team gets the dragon. There may be the engagement here. Enigma trying to catch him. Soul Shackles was disrupted because of that barrel toss. You're lurking in the back lines. Will be forced off. Forced off, rather. Enigma getting the spell shield. He's going to do a lot more damage in you. There's the Crowstorm. Kuri is not quite getting caught. Couldn't get the fear. 
That wasn't the Crow Swarm we were looking for. Enigma actually gets taken out, though, by Mika. Loki is pretty tanky in the bottom line. Enigma just got destroyed there, but that was a really nice Soul Cycles. Disengage icons may catch out Sneaky Devil here. He didn't get taken out, but look at this. Riyad pushing three towers during that. That is definitely a split push and a half there. That's an incredible victory there for Cheesecake ELO. Riyad may even kill Meowth here, but that's a nice um, Howling Gale knocking up. Riyad gets taken out by Vayne. Does manage to secure it, but he got what? Three towers. Yep. Three towers during that split pushing, and that's why Jax is just so powerful. He's been farming up in that top lane, now he comes down, and for a dragon, you don't want to lose three mid lane towers. That is a, not a good exchange there uh, for Chicks to get ELO, but oh, Korea's getting caught out. Way caught. Meowth having to burn the monsoon in vain. Maybe it taken down here. Noob like God is so good at chasing with Volution. Meowth having to flash out Mekan, looking for the barrel, not managing to secure it, but. That bottom tower may get pushed down now. Look at those wards. There's a lot of wards. There's a lot of wards in that area. They really wanted that dragon. Yeah, they got it, but it, you know, it wasn't worth it. It lost three towers. It definitely was not. Rigget is just crazy on that Jax. He pushed so, so hard during that engage. Raiden taking a lot of damage from that barrel. Got to be careful on this chase. Yeah, Loki getting pretty low there. The Silverbolt's pretty powerful, but actually... Ooh, oh, Mekin missing the barrel toss onto Vayne there, but... Nimba will get taken out by Mikan, but once again, getting damage over time onto Loki for the kill. Raiden is so low, but look at that elastic slingshot onto Noob Like God, popping the culling barrier, barely keeping Raiden alive. Raiden just surviving the engagement. I was going to say, the culling is up. Raiden's got to be really careful, but that barrier was absolutely clutch, keeping him alive and managing to take out Noob Like God. A absolutely great engagement there for um, Raiden's nipples. It must have been the Isle of Storm shield as well. I think it was, yeah, that leveled up that actually managed to keep her alive. I was going to say, the barrier wouldn't have been quite enough that was a lot of damage that came out from the black guy. Look at, you know, Barrier gives you what, 400 health, either Storm gives you 250, so it's like a lot of shield, a 650 shield. It makes a pretty big difference. Yeah, That's and it's something you have to, uh, you have to account for uh, during this, we'll just see Rigard split pushing like a boss as well. He has overtaken Enigma in farm quite substantially as well. Uh, 20 CS there, uh, so grabbing the Trinity Force, got the Blade of the Ruin King. He is an absolute beast at the moment. This game is just so close though, despite what keeps happening, the gold is always so close. 50,000 for Chickstick Elo, 51 and a half here for Rain's Nipples, so, well, the way around rather yeah. actually, so. Look, a very close game. It could go either way here. All it takes is one clean ace, and you can just make a world of difference in those objectives. Yeah, I think it's really have to make sure, again, uh, in this game, Raiden doesn't get caught out, and Chris doesn't die. He's died a couple of times so far to being caught at a position, not quite landing uh, spell shields at the right time. So Yeah, again, I also think Icons hasn't exactly had a successful Crow Storm. He's no. been trying to land them, but the positioning is always quite good. And it's always never quite been able to find its mark and really get those those crazy cross storms that just really rip through the team. But actually, Enigma may force an engagement here as it looks as though Raiden Nipples are sort of moving in. Sneaky Devil off to the side, probably looking for an elastic slingshot, does have a lot of range. Icons, of course, still in the fight at the moment. Nam moves off to the side, probably looking for that crow storm. Yeah, you may go for it, but they have an eye on him. It would be a good idea for Raiden to ward that bush as well, so they know if he's going to go for that, even warding the wraiths. Yeah. So you know if he's going for that um, Crow Storm. Got to be careful now. So a bit of poke going back and forth. Mikan throwing down a few barrels, trying to get as much poke as possible. Uh, I think Raiden's Nipples definitely be wanting this mid lane tower. Yeah, the poke battle. But actually, it looks as though Raiden's Nipples will back away from this. And uh, we do finally see the Zonia's Hourglass onto Quirius. So she can do some pretty crazy engages there. She doesn't quite have the flash just yet, but we'll do in about 25 seconds. If she flashes in for that Soul Shackles, it can be a pretty big deal for the enemy team. Raiden's, uh, ha uh, sorry, uh, we do have uh, Enigma go getting that Randall with as well. That's going to be really nice against Rigod or against Noob Like God to shut them down kind of movement speed wise uh, when they do have engages. So it's quite a nice pickup given how hard uh, we have seen Enigma engaging during these team fights. Yeah, Noob Like God getting the red buff. I think they, they really want him to be the carry here. If they can peel him well enough, which they should be able to, looking at the CS across the board they actually have to offer, the Baron is there for the tanking, but both of these teams, they're just they're too scared to go for it. Yeah, I think so at the moment. Uh, the, 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 it's just too close, and especially with Icon's Crow Storm up, there's got a lot of kind of AoE damage. We, they got, Both teams have to be really, really careful about whether they decide to go for it. He has picked up that Zonius now, so definitely looking for a possible Crow Storm into the team. Mm, we actually have a Mikhail's Crumble on our Janna here, Meowth, which could be very, very good because, say, 
if Raiden gets caught by a fear, oh, yeah. she can use that and just kind of negate that fear entirely, allowing her to peel out of that. So there may be the engage here. Noob Black God almost getting caught in the front lines. There goes the Elastic Slingshot for the engagement here, but having to back off. He's going to get taken pretty low here. Loki may even get taken out of the culling, is ripping through the team. Dragon's Ascent onto the team. Look at the Soul Shackles. The Randoms wasn't enough. Icon Zonia's throwing the Soul Shackles. The Monsoon will heal up the team. Rigged trying to take down Raiden there. Barrier may even save her. Soul Shackles. Will maybe slow him down. Exhausted, pretty powerful. Raiden, can he peel? Gets taken out by Rigged there in the front lines. Mikkel having to flush. Wants the body slam here. Curious is quite low. So is Nigga Devil. Rigged will run away for his life, but just kidding because the Elastic Slingshot will maybe take him out. No! Rigged wins that engagement there and will finish off the Bloblets. And the Alpha gets taken out by New Black God. Curious on the run with her life, but she may be able to get it if she lands the Dark Binding as Dragon is spawning in five seconds. But no, going to back out of that one. That was an, uh, not a good team fight whatsoever. Uh, so for uh, Raiden's nipples, they did not do well at all, getting taken out very, very fast. The engage from Enigma was absolutely crazy. She came in there, hit the random ones on about three members of... Uh, uh, of um, sorry, of... Uh, Chick, Stick, Chick Stick ELO, uh, but then they just got absolutely bursted. New Black God stayed alive, and Rigged came in and absolutely destroyed in the back lines. He's just got so much damage to clean up after the team fights. Yeah, the issue Raiden couldn't exactly peel as, as well as they would have liked to. If Raiden stayed alive, which she almost did, it was pretty damn close, and he probably would have been able to have gotten those kills with her great chasing potential that the tumble offers, that her Night Hunter. Passive gives her the extra movement speed against wounded or against um, enemy champions that are kind of retreating. Yeah. But no dragon there, so icons didn't quite get that. Did you see the crowstorm go? Off? Um, no, I didn't. But there's a lot happening, so <laughs> it's definitely possible that it could have done. Um. It, it's on a pretty high cooldown, actually. I would have said it might have been on cooldown during that engagement because I didn't see it. I didn't really see it yeah. either. But New Black got actually getting the dragon by himself. Pretty nice move, but looks as though Raiden may even go for the Baron here. Um, Kreutz, or oh, other team is Chicks Love ELO. We'll maybe try and actually we'll wall them off. That's nice. That's yeah, quite fantastic. They have a 4k gold lead at the moment. Definitely the lead in towers. Three towers up. Icons is ready to go with that crow storm. Looks like they may decide to start off themselves. A little bit surprising. I would have thought they would have tried to bait some Oh, into it. Nublet gets caught by the Dark Binding. That's going to be a kill there onto the ADC. And there goes the Dragon's Descent and the Elastic Slingshot. That's going to rip through the team here. Spell shoot onto him. That's going to be a nice engagement. Helen Gale knocking a lot of them up here. The Icons will get taken out by Enigma. Sneaky Devil trying to jump in, but by himself. Cancelling it is a good move. He would have taken out here. Loki running for his life with that um, tumble. Yeah, Tumble not managing Powerful, to catch up. It. Yeah, Pavel just too fast. The Tumble not managing to catch up, but wow, New Black God getting caught out hardcore with that Soul Sackles, and that's going to mean a Baron here uh, for uh, Raiden's nipples. That's going to be really important. Rigged is looking for a kill onto Meowth, though, getting caught quite a position. The Monsoon does knock them back, however. Nice Monsoon indeed. Yeah, New Black God getting caught was a bit of a flop there for the team. Loki moving in 3v5. Maybe not the best choice here. Barrett didn't quite Can they still help and get knocking the back barrel? They didn't quite oh, get steal in the end. Yes, Zach securing that with the smite there. They're going to move into Mikan. Mikan, oh, getting a bit of barrel damage down. But yeah, New Black God got focused. That was a really, really nice dark binding. That just turned that fight around. Onto the tormented soil. Yeah. Onto the other CC of the members there, but that was a nice smite though, because keep in mind that barrel was incredibly close. If that barrel, that barrel stole the Baron, yes. I wouldn't have been surprised. Yeah, not at all. So we'll be seeing a bit of cleanup uh, crew in the middle, uh, uh, back in the base of Raiden's nipples. The uh, central inhib of, is of course down, so the uh, tower lead is definitely still uh, by way of, uh, sorry, Chicks Dig ELO. Uh, at the moment, so we'll have to see how the Baron buff pans out for Raiden's nibbles. But, you know, keep in mind, even despite that Baron and that nice victory there for Raiden's nipples, somehow, Chicks Dig Elo are still ahead in the gold. 62 against 61,000. This game is just so damn close. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is the first Baron of the game. I think this is going to be ridiculously important. How many towers they decide to push down, where they decide to go. Uh, yeah. Definitely positioning in the mid lane here, uh, Chicks Dig ELO. They are ready to defend, ready to go. Uh, Going to be backing off a little bit. I'm surprised we haven't seen any Guardians Angels just yet. Yeah, a little bit surprising as far. We do have a Quicksilver Sash has been completed onto Raiden. Raiden's getting into that in the mid game crazy farm. Uh, crazy damage, crazy everything. Uh, so definitely a lot of uh, CC reduction 
Uh, so Raiden should be able to stay alive with that quick civil sash with the Macau's Crucible onto a uh, Meow. What you did last game, as we were mentioned in the load screen with Cleanser, it's really important because of the CC potential that they have with the fear, with the stun and the taunt of Rammus. So quick civil sash is a pretty cheap item and it can make the worlds of difference. But that being said, you could say the Mikhail's crumble kind of, you know, makes it worthless. But it, you can't rely on your support always being there. And using the ability item active is it's not something that you can always do. Yeah, exactly right. Okay, bit of positioning in the mid lane. I think what we have to remember is while they got the Baron buff, the waves were quite pushed um, by way of um, sorry, of Ch Chick Stick Eli had been pushing up the lanes quite well, so it's been a little bit more difficult for Raiden's nipples to start pushing back so, until to the point where they can actually secure a tower. Mm, we do see Raiden's nipples slowly trying to reconsolidate. They do need a full man team for engage. Sneaky Devil trying to go for that uh, elastic slingshot, but backing off. A good choice. You really don't want to go for the engagement when, you know, Enigma is so far back and he's a real machine in the team fight. It's pretty damn tanky. Sunfire Cape, Thorn Mail, Wits End. He's going to have a very good time in the middle of these team fights. Oh, absolutely fantastic. That mid lane tower is very, very low. Sneaky Devil going to burst down those minions. Icons is off to the side. He is looking for that Crow Storm. Oh, he may actually get it as well. But that will be very important. Enigma, look at the spell shield. There's so much spell shield on that. It's. <laughs> Well, it's like 700 ability power onto your your target, so yeah. they're gonna be able to take a lot of magic damage. Enigma getting a war, that's actually quite good for that, um, the Crow Storm. That brush there, still in water though. Gotta be very, very careful. Okay, we'll see a bit of engage here. Mikan looking for some damage with those barrels, gonna throw them around. Shields, of course, onto Meow, so uh, just yeah, a bit of poke tense. wars here. This is getting fairly tense. What will happen in this engage? Mikan may be looking for a barrel here, but. Um, of course, we do have Raiden's Dibbles being very, very careful, very, very casual. They know what they're doing. They don't want to get caught out here. The death timers will be high. The Baron spawning in one minute. Only a handful of objectives less left. So basically, if this team fight goes really one-sided for either team, it could just be game then and there. So this next engagement will be pretty intense as they try and land the best possible angle and a lot of it just comes down to the battle toss, the dark binding, those sort of those abilities designed around catching someone, locking them down, jumping on them, and giving them all kinds of pain. Indeed, you're right. Okay, so mad this game is getting intense. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. I haven't seen something this close in a long time. This is, of course, game number two. So New Black God doing a bit of farming down the bottom. They are quite split up for the moment. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if if Raiden's nipples take this game, they will win the tournament, but if they get taken out by Chick Stick ELOs, they still have to win another game. Enigma a little bit on the side here, but actually that may work well. Loki in a bit of trouble. He has to flash over the wall. Mikan throwing barrels, not his ultimate. Loki getting condemned into the wall. Will he flash out of that? He does flash, and that is the flash down on Ramus. That is a very, very crucial flash, because that gives him such a good opportunity to engage and initiate. But with the flash gone, it's going to be harder for him. Really, really good ping off there from Raiden's nipples. It's going to uh, definitely screw him around a little bit. Loki will be backing off now. Hopefully they'll be able to... We'll, we'll see that oh. ball tagging force down. Enigma getting caught out of position. That's a lot of damage. They're actually chasing him down. The tankiness won't even matter. Dodges that light binding. That was a crucial dodge there. That could have been the end if they landed that dark binding. Loki getting them in the wall. Rigid actually going onto the team. He's raining, getting focused there. But the spell should will keep him alive. Dark binding does hit Rigid. This isn't taken out. And now Sneaky Devil in the front lines has to flash out of that. But this may be the victory here. New Black God, what a culling is ripping through the team. Crowstorm doesn't quite connect as well as it would like. Howling Gale knocking them back. Dark binding didn't quite hit onto Meek and Loki. Will try and disengage from that, but Raiden with the spell shield was incredibly hard to take down. Enigma is very, very low. Rigid, of course, did get taken down. Really, really oh. good focus. Oh, come on, guys. We have a pause here. We're not exactly sure what's going on. Hopefully, we'll get in here. We've got a lag. Okay, lag out on the side of uh, Raiden's nipples. So. Buddy, I'm getting keen. I'm getting super keen. This game is getting absolutely crazily close. Um, that okay, could have yeah, 400 ping on Raiden. Yeah, you don't really want your Vayne to have 400 ping, do you? That could have been game. If that team fight went worse than it did, that could have been game, but only picking up one kill for either team... Well, actually, was it a kill? No, it wasn't a kill. No, uh, Enigma didn't actually get taken out. Whereas Rigid went for the engage and just got focused before uh, because there's a disengage from Sneaky Devils with the uh, with the Let's Bounce. And Here we have we the um, yeah game Whoa. back in now. So Raiden back. looking for a kill. They're obviously Whoa. some planning. Oh, we're good to go. You got, a, go. you got a camera? Right, okay, That's fine. Good. Don't worry. Don't freak out, bro. Dragon is up 
Blue team is pretty low here. Raiden's nipples should want to probably get back to full health if they go for engagement with a fraction of the HP. Obviously won't yeah. go for them. Raiden though, look at this, the GA. He has the Eye of the Storm, he has the barrel, he has the spell shield from Morgana. He is going to be one tough cookie to crack. <laughs> yeah, he's peeling and ready to go. Blue team has slain the dragon. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Raiden just carries this game. If uh, if the other team here, if Chicks Dig Elo aren't able to take him down, then Raven can just peel and just rip through the team here. He doesn't exactly have a lot of AD, though. He does have the Quicksilver Sash, the Guardian's Angel, and the Last Whisper. So really not a lot of AD, as you would usually see in late game. But just with the peeling, it may more than make up for it, because she's going to have a very um, good lane present. Well, Team fight presence. Yeah. Very, very focused on staying alive at the moment. Chris will be picking up that blue buff there as we settle down a little bit uh, in this game. Oh. I'm not settled yet. <laughs> yeah, nah, <laughs> definitely not. The blue, the Baron buff has, of course, ran out for Raiden's nipples. We do have a 10 second timer now onto that Baron. So we'll have to see if the team start positioning for it. Nublight God having picked up that GA now. Look at that damage 377 AG, Infinity Edge, Trifles, Bloodthirster, GA, Last Whisper. He is going to do a lot of damage in this team fights, but his team doesn't quite have the same peeling potential. Actually, blue team here, Rip Nipples are going for the Baron, and actually this may be it here. Do you see the Coast Storm? Not just yet, but they're going for it. Noob Like God has to stay out of trouble, and so does Raiden. The ADC peeling may determine this game here, as Icon's not quite going for that spell shield. Going on to Sneaky Devil. This is an extremely close engagement. Very, very tense. Enigma looking for a bit of thing. Oh, Dark here we go. Does miss. Enigma getting focused. Will disengage. Loki going in. Does he have the corner? Enigma making it take the culling. Ripping through the spell shield though. Look at that. Dragon's ascent. Let's bounce. So much damage. Randall is slowing them down. Loki having to run for his life in the back line. Let's bounce. Ripping out the team. There is the Crow Storm and the Zonyas and the damage there from New Black Guys. Ripping through the team. Blue are all so low. Raiden gets the kill onto Loki and having to Zonyas through that. The GA has been popped there for Raiden. He's going to have no chance getting out of that in one piece gets taken out by the body slam of Mikan. Absolutely destroyed. That was a fantastic fight for Chicks Dig Elo. They can probably win this game at this point. Their death timers are just too long. That was absolutely amazing. New Black God managing to kite backwards. Icons coming in. Rigat absolutely ripping through the team and Raiden getting focused down and absolutely destroyed. Finally landing the Crow Storm and that is what happened and that will be game for Chicks Dig Elo. So it looks like we will be moving on to the uh, this final match here and yeah. determine the game. Yeah, that's 1-1 one, one each with the Nexus being destroyed. Wow, what a fantastic game. I'm a little bit worn out. I'm a little bit worn out myself. That's that was right. absolutely crazy. I didn't expect Chicks Dick ELO to come back that hard. Yeah, I think they got a little bit greedy at times. Like, they had a pretty solid early game, but they, they kind of threw away a lot of these engagements, like Enigma split pushing a little bit too hard, diving a little bit too crazy. I, I think if they didn't quite get as greedy and just sort of focus more on his objectives, they may have been able to push that game out and get the lead there, but there was definitely some clutch engagements when Noob Like God got caught by the Dark Binding. That was, that was such crazy. a big moment for that the team. That was massive. Wow, that was yeah, pretty good, but I think they can definitely shut down... That, that team hunt was a lot better for mm. uh, Chicks Dig ELO. New Black God, they just had so much mobility, and they could just shut people down so hard. I mean, uh, Sneaky Devil went in for a lot of Let's Bounces, where he would just be bouncing in the middle, and the team would just split like yeah. this, and then they couldn't actually hit anyone with their CC, so... Yeah, so that'll, that'll wrap up game number two, as we will quickly move on to the third and final, final. game of the OSWAT 2.0. Tournament or championship, whatever the hell it's called. We are the General's Gentlemen. I am Mark on Hawk. And I am Onage Machine. And let's wrap this up in game number three. I'm pretty keen. I'm pretty keen, man. Pretty damn keen. It's pretty crazy. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen.